that line, that's another line that I get said to me all the time. Eight is a lot of legs, David. <laughs> <laughs> There's a kind of love in it that everyone can relate to. If you don't associate you know, yourself with one kind of storyline, there's another one that you really can relate to. And I think that it's because it explores all different kinds of love. Um, and there's something that people can connect with. There's something for everyone. And they say that so much about films, but it's not always necessarily the case. And I really do think that you know, it's the one thing that we all long for or have lost or are in, you know, a kind of loving relationship. It's something that we all yearn for as human beings. So it, it touches us on a certain level that not many films do. And I think that more than ever this year, people are kind of wanting to celebrate Christmas early. I've got my tree up already. Normally I never put up, you know, put it up before the first, but we just want to, you know, embrace things that are positive, um, keep you going, keep you upbeat um, and make you believe in the good stuff. And I think love actually makes you believe in the good stuff. Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's definitely a classic, isn't it? Everyone yeah. everyone thinks it's so heartwarming. I mean, you said earlier you get recognised a lot because of the film. Um, do people ever kind of like say quotes to you or are there any moments that people always mention? Yeah, I mean, the one where I come down the stairs and I swear about where's my coat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, someone just runs up to me and goes, oh my God, I love that line so much. It's just so funny. Um, and because a lot of my sentences have got swear words in it, it's never dull when people come up and uh, and relive the moment. It's quite funny. Um, but it's, yeah, it's just lovely that people, you know, have loved the character and, and, and have always been so lovely to me as well. And the characters I've played, they've really seemed to have um, genuinely sort of followed my career and, you know, taking me to their hearts a bit. I think because I've grown up in the public eye and all my mistakes, all my good bits, it's all been there for everybody to see. And I think they're kind of like, it, it's always been lovely because I've always felt like whenever I've met people, not press necessarily, but the actual people in the public, they've always sort of seemed to be rooting for me, which is so lovely. And I yeah. think that's the same with some of the parts that I've played, that's something that we have in common. Yeah, that's so lovely. It's kind of like everyone adopts you into their own family, you know, yeah. you're part of it, that's which is amazing. really nice. Like, what, what a compliment. What a compliment. Absolutely. A popular um, scene in my house is always the one with you and Hugh Grant and the kid of the octopus in the car. <laughs> How did you not, like, burst out laughing during that scene? Was that hard to film? We did. We did. I mean, there were, there were plenty of times where we were just sat there in silence and then we just got the giggles terribly. I mean, I'd love to see some of the footage one day of the outtakes and the bloopers and things like that because um, there were some funny times and the little kid, bless him, stuck in that outfit for take after take after take um, was just genius. And that, that line, that's another line that I get said to me all the time. Eight is a lot of legs, David. <laughs> <laughs> the octopus costume's taken me months. Eight is a lot of legs, David. <laughs>